Welcome to today's uh, Creditor Watch webinar. The title of today's topic is Avoid Bad Debt by Monitoring Your Customers. My name's Patrick Coglin, and I'm the Commercial Director at Creditor Watch. Um, I was one of two founding employees and I'm responsible for a few things here, uh, mainly sales and marketing. However, I've got a bit of product development experience as well. Uh, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn um, and ask me any questions as we go. So you'll see that there's a Q&A box um, or a question box that is available within the GoToWebinar toolbox. It sort of shows up there. Feel free to ask questions as we're going through this uh, webinar and presentation. I've got a couple of staff members who are helping, helping me out today and they will be answering any questions along the way that you might have. Um, if we don't get to all of them, we, we, will, uh, we will endeavor to get back to you within sort of 24 hours or we'll uh, make contact with you via the phone if it's a little bit more of an in-depth question that needs answering. We'll also provide a copy of the slides that we're looking at now as well as a webinar recording um, over the next sort of 24 to 48 hours so that if you want to pass it on to colleagues um, or you want to revisit it in the future, you'll be able to do that. Um, also, if you happen to have to take off early before we finish, um, you'll be able to sort of catch up on anything that you might have missed. It won't take more than um, half an hour. We should be done by one o'clock. So what are we going to cover today? I'll give you a, a little brief about Creditor Watch. Most of you are customers, so I'm, I'm not going to go into a, too much detail there. I'm going to talk about um, our small business risk review, which is uh, something we do on a quarterly basis looking at important credit risk indicators that we're noticing in the market, both using our data and also publicly available data from ASIC and the Australian Business Register. We'll get into a live demo of the monitoring and alerts, which is obviously the topic today, looking at everything from how to set up alerts on your customers or suppliers, um, or really any business or company that you want to monitor. Um, how to interpret and also, I guess, action or address those email alerts. What should you be doing with them? We'll also look at identifying high-risk high customers. Um, so as, as part of the monitoring, we'll actually flag those customers that already have adverse or negative information against their credit files. Um, so you can sort of get a, a good little health check on your portfolio or, or at least on the customers that you're currently monitoring. Find out if there are any that pose a risk now rather than um, waiting for an alert to potentially come through on them. We'll also touch on the benefits of monitoring your customers, which I think will be fairly self-explanatory once I've gone through the demo. And of course, um, address any questions that may not have been answered along the way. As I said, please ask away as we, as we go along. So a little bit about Creditor Watch. Australia's leading commercial credit reporting bureau. Um, we've got well over 40,000 customers now. Um, everything from small sole traders who might operate out of you know, their, their second bedroom or their, their garage a la Microsoft, all the way through to probably got about 150 of the ASX 200 with companies, public companies using us as well. So we provide a wide range of products from credit reporting, um, credit scores, monitoring and alerts. We also have uh, some separate products outside of the Creditor Watch portal itself, an online credit application. So it gives you the ability to sort of do away with the with paper-based credit applications and allow your customers to apply online with you. And it automates all the decisioning um, and approval process. We'll also provide data washing as well on, uh, on your customer database, appending information, identifying at-risk customers, that sort of thing. Um, and for those small businesses out there we, who don't have, you know, a dedicated credit management team or a dedicated accounts receivable team, we really do act as a, as a virtual accounts receivable manager for those small businesses, um, particularly when you start to integrate with Zero or MYOB, for instance, it really does automate the credit management process for you, automatically sending email alerts, uh, setting up monitoring, and also sending you credit reports every time you add a new contact into your Zero or MYB account. So talking about the uh, small business risk review that we run on a quarterly basis, looking at Q4 from 2016. Um, so there's a number of insights that we gained from this. I've picked out a few here and also added one or two extras. 
Um, so there's been a 63% increase in the number of Credit Watch defaults registered with us when you compare um, Q4 2015 to 16. The average value of that default has also risen significantly. So we're up 76% over the past 12 months. So what that means is uh, people are obviously registering bigger defaults. Um, they're also registering them a lot sooner than previously rather than waiting maybe, you know, three, four months for it to be overdue. They're registering it, you know, after two months overdue. One of the things that we found is when a default is actually registered against an entity, that entity has a 46% chance, 46 chance of failing within the next 12 months. Um, so if you do receive an email alert for a, for a Credit Watch payment default against one of your customers, you really need to appreciate the, um, the severity of that and um, consider whether you want to continue to do business with them on a, on a credit basis or potentially move them to a, a cash on delivery, cash up front type of arrangement. Uh, one of the big increases that we saw was a 113% increase in WA court actions versus Q4 2015. So WA obviously doing it quite tough at the moment. Um, and we're seeing some, some really big numbers come out of there in terms of court judgments um, and also payment defaults. And the one that you should always remember is that a director of a previously failed company is two and a half times more likely to fail again. So when you are looking at a credit report within Creditor Watch, do check those cross directorships. I've put in a link here, so when you actually get the um, the slides in the next couple of days, you'll be able to click on there, and it'll take you through to the small business risk review, which we've got in a nice infographic here. So you can see, obviously, payment defaults increasing um, quarter versus quarter. <clears throat> got a, a nice look at all the uh, court actions from around Australia and how they're um, comparing to previous quarters within each state. And then at the bottom here, we've got some payment trends looking at you know average days outstanding. So SME to SME payment um, is, is the biggest there for 55 and a half days to get paid. And obviously no surprises, SME to corporate the lowest 43.2 days. So corporates tend to have that um, Ability to put a bit more pressure on small businesses. They've got dedicated resources, credit managers, debt collectors, lawyers, um, and corporates also tend to be a more critical supplier. So you obviously want to pay the banks, uh, telcos, utilities, your landlord, etc., before you end up paying um, the small businesses that you use as suppliers as well. So as I said, you'll be able to access this infographic from the slides that I sent through. And the last uh, stat that we're seeing here is looking at cancelled unincorporated entities. So an unincorporated entity is a, a sole trader, trust or partnership. Typically they are small businesses um, and that's the type of entity that they operate in uh, at Creditor Watch or with Creditor Watch, you can monitor uh, small businesses, sole traders, trust partnerships for important changes such as when they become cancelled, when they're no longer registered for GST, um, and when payment defaults, court judgments, mercantile inquiries are lodged against them. So I'm going to run a quick poll here and fairly simple yes or no question. Are you monitoring any customers and or suppliers? So I'll let that run for a second. Sorry, a couple of seconds. Hopefully we get some decent results to see are people monitoring their customers? Um, might not be with might not be with Creditor Watch, but hopefully we're sort of looking more at Creditor Watch. Alright, that's pretty much all of you that have voted now. So what we're seeing is the vast majority of you are monitoring customers and or suppliers, which is great news. 20% of you, about 20% of you aren't. And hopefully at the end of this, we can convince you to start monitoring and receiving alerts on your uh, on your customers. So thank you for that. We've got another little poll as well coming up later on. So let's get into the live demonstration. Uh, a few things we're gonna look at, how to set up monitoring and alerts, how to interpret those alerts, and also we're gonna look at identifying high-risk customers as part of that monitoring process. So this is your Creditor Watch dashboard. Uh, for those of you that aren't members, this is what it looks like. 
obviously everything's going to be familiar to those of you who are Creditor Watch customers. So there's a couple of different ways that we can monitor a company. Um, the first one would be to perform a check on a company or a, or a business um, simply by putting in their business name, ABN, ACN. Um, so in this case, I'm going to put in one that's I've got open above, but let's show you anyway. That's going to come up with a list of search results. Obviously, if you put the ABN in, then it's going to take you straight to that entity. So let's look at Top Better Holdings Limited. It's going to open their credit report. We're going to have a look and okay, look, they're nice and clean. No defaults, no court judgments. So nothing negative that I have to worry about. Um, I'm not going to buy a, a credit score or a payment predictor. So I'm pretty happy with this company. Scroll over here, monitor for changes. Really simple. I click that and that's going to add them to my watch list, which is my monitoring and alerts list. So going forward, if anything occurs to this particular company, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll run through the exact alerts and um, you know changes that we monitor for, but if anything does occur to this company and there is a change, I will receive an email alert um, and also be able to access the alerts on my dashboard as well. So it's very much a set and forget type service. Going forward now, I don't have to worry so much about, you know, are they paying other people? Do I need to keep an eye out for them going into administration? I can rely on Creditor Watch sending me that alert. The other way to do it is we can do it in a few bulk or single ads. So if you know the ABN that you want to monitor, simply pop the ABN in there, click Add ABN, and that's going to add it to your monitoring list. If you've got a number, if you've got more than one, um, you can add them line separated. So putting putting in an ABN or ACN on each line. Alternatively, you can upload a CSV if you want to get a little bit more technical, and that's probably more for people who've got you know dozens or you know hundreds, potentially thousands of customers. Um, if any of this is Again, too difficult or you'd prefer us to do it, simply contact us, uh, email us, admin at creditorwatch.com.au or call our contact number um, and let us know that you want to upload a bunch of customers into your account for monitoring and we'll do that for you. So really, really simple to do it that way as well and, and you can be sure that it gets done the right way. But as you can see, it's a very simple process to do yourself as well. Looking at um, the alerts that you can receive. So I've got one set up here. You can see risk alert that's come through. Um, there's a number of changes that have occurred here. So you can see I've received alerts for insolvency notices, a payment default and a court judgment. So what happens is whenever there's a change that takes place to one or more of your customers, in this case, you can see that there's four customers, I would receive a single daily email alert that lists a summary of all the changes that have occurred. So if you're monitoring thousands of customers, you're not going to be receiving email alerts all day. You'll receive one nice, um, clear and summarized email alert. So you can go through and go, okay, we've put it in order for you of what's the most important and should be addressed straight away through to what's less important. In this case, they're all extremely important. So what's great about this is I can go, okay, commercial payment default. I know who this is. It's even got my customer ID that I have on them. Simply click view and it's going to take me straight through to their profile and I can have a look at exactly what has occurred. So here I can see that the most recent alert was this one in Feb from Linkron Australia. So I can see that it's a payment default. So that's registered by Creditor Watch users. Um, it was added in Feb. The invoice itself was due in November 2015, so very overdue. Who it was submitted by, how much, and also the status. So the status will either be current, um, which means it's outstanding. It'll say has been part paid, so they've obviously made part payment here, um, or settled, which means they have paid the default altogether. So I've received this email. I can now go, okay, what do I want to do? I can make contact with Blue Monkey Creations and go from there. Do I move them to COD? Do I cancel their um, account with us? Um, that sort of thing.
You'll see the other alerts as well, so no different. So in this case, we've got a court judgment that's been lodged against uh, TPA packaging. I can see when it was lodged, in which state, who the plaintiff was, and the fact that it's for over $13,000. So there's actually no way for you to sort of keep track of all of the all of the changes that, that we're monitoring for. Um, you'd have to be checking in with the courts, checking in with ASIC, the Australian Business Register. You're obviously not going to be receiving the, the types of alerts that we send from our own customers, which are payment defaults um, and mercantile footprints, so their debt collection actions, and also insolvency notice. It's a separate, um, a separate register that ASIC runs, and it will let you know when there's been an administration um, and or a wind-up notification against a particular company. So you can see here, <clears throat> notice of appointment or cessation of an external administrator. So all of these types of inf bits of information are really critical in determining whether you continue trading with a, uh, a customer or not, um, or you need to keep them on a, a, a tighter leash, shorter leash, or reduce their credit limit potentially. So this is a, an insolvency notice. We can see that an administrator has been appointed. Um, when are the meeting details and where are they taking place? The agenda of that meeting um, and when proof of debt proxies are due and also contact details as well of that administrator. So really important information, especially when you're dealing with uh, an administration or winding up where you potentially got outstanding goods or, uh, or money's owed that could potentially be uh, written off immediately, particularly if you don't make contact straight away. So just jumping back to the dashboard, the other benefit of monitoring your customers, and I should stress, you don't just want to monitor the customers that you know are slow payers or are a potential risk to your company because you're already aware of them. What's most important is those that come out of the blue. So we always recommend that you monitor all of your debtors, whether they're every customer on your list or at least those with an active or outstanding amount within your um, age trial balance or within your receivables. So that way you can always be sure that if something does happen even to one of your best customers, you're aware of it and you're not the last one to know. So as I was saying, one of the other benefits of monitoring your customers is what we call the high risk list. And the high risk list is a list of all the customers or the, all the companies that you're monitoring that have negative uh, risk factors against them. So some sort of important change has taken place uh, prior um, to you actually uploading it. So in this case, you can see that I've got quite a number of companies that I'm monitoring that already have um, important information that I should be aware of. And that could be anything from you know companies being deregistered, court judgments, payment defaults, insolvency notices, et cetera. So as soon as you start monitoring a customer, if they have a negative risk factor on their credit file already, it's going to end up in the high risk list. And this is live, so it's constantly being updated. So it's a really good way to do a bit of a, a health check on your current customers um, when setting up the, the monitoring and alerts. Going forward, you know that you'll receive alerts as well. So it's a real important um, sort of bonus little thing that you get there. Again, really simple, click on high risk to access that. Um, and that's automatically populated once you start monitoring customers. The watch list you see here is a list of all the companies or all the customers entities that you're monitoring. It'll give you a bit of a usage um, a view here. So I'm using 35% of my watch list and I can scroll down and see that they're all listed in here. Make it as easy as possible to use. Jumping back into the demonstration itself, so what do we alert you to? We alert you to court judgments, as I showed you, payment defaults, so they're registered by Creditor Watch customers. Insolvency notices come from the ASIC insolvency notices register. Mercantile inquiries, so a mercantile inquiry is when a debt collector is chasing a a business or a, or a debtor for an outstanding debt on behalf of one of the debt collector's clients, they'll do a search on that particular debtor and at that point they can leave a mercantile inquiry. So it's like a debt collection default basically. It's a really important indicator that 
um, you know, that person's not paying their bills or is in a bit of financial stress. We'll also provide alerts on administration and liquidation appointments, any sort of change to an ABN or ACN. So that could be status, um, address, locality, that sort of thing. Um, address and director changes as I've got there. So new director or old director leaves, uh, shareholder changes as well, uh, be that new shareholder, old shareholder or someone increasing their shareholdings. And importantly, credit score increases and decreases. So always good to know if someone's uh, credit risk score is going down. So just quickly looking at obviously the benefits of monitoring and alerts, setting up that monitoring. Set and forget, so really easy to implement. And once it's set up, you don't have to do anything except respond to those email alerts that you do receive. So when an email alert comes through, at that point you go, okay, great. Credit Watch has let me know, what do I need to do now? You know, defaults, judgments, mercantile inquiries, you should be making contact with the debtor to sort of get a feel for, um, you know, what are they up to? Are they struggling financially? Um, and then considering, do I need to reduce potentially the credit limit? Do I need to put them on COD, um, cash up front? If you receive, you know, something like an insolvency notice or a customer goes into administration, you need to be basically um, putting their account on stop immediately, getting in contact with the administrator um, and lodging your sort of proof of debt. Hopefully that, you know, something does come out of it. They either trade out of administration or someone else picks it up and, and you do get some cents in the dollar, though that is quite rare, as we all know. So monitoring ultimately tracks your debtors, keeps an eye on them, um, sends you email alerts when they get themselves into trouble or something important changes that you should be made aware of. The high risk list will help you identify those high risk customers that pose a, uh, a credit risk to your business immediately. And ultimately we're protecting your business from bad debt. So the last or second poll and last poll that I'll run now is asking, would you like some assistance in monitoring your customers? Now granted, a number of you were already monitoring customers. It may be that you want to monitor more customers. You want to monitor your whole ledger. Um, you want to get uh, insights into more than the customers you're currently monitoring. You may only be monitoring one or two. For some of you, you might not be a customer um, and you actually want to receive uh, some information or you want some contact and, and we'll get you up and running with a trial as well. So we've got a free trial available. And as part of that, we'd uh, give you assistance in monitoring your customers. So give it another couple of seconds. So look at that, pretty much an identical split to the last one. Um, except the other way around this time. So would you like some assistance in monitoring your customers? About 20% said yes, 82% um, of you said no. So those yes people will uh, we'll get in contact with you by email or phone um, just to give you a hand to start monitoring some of your customers. So that about wraps it up now. We're pretty much getting close to one o'clock as well. Um, so thanks very much for attending. Obviously, for more information, please contact us. The uh, head office number there is 02 8188 2025. Um, we've got support staff who can assist with any questions or get you up and running with a trial or anything like that. Um, alternatively, you can contact your account manager if you prefer that. They're obviously going to be aware of your, your account and your situation. Um, we've got video tutorials as well available now. Um, so there's a new nice page that we've had set up. You have to be signed in or logged into your Creditor Watch account to access those. You can click on that link and sign in. If you're not a customer, um, please ask us about a free trial. You can email us sales underscore admins at, at creditorwatch.com.au. Um, we'll probably also send you some follow-up emails as well if you're not a customer. Um, We'll also try to get through, or we will definitely respond to all of your questions over the next 24 hours. Um, I know that a number of questions have been asked um, and we are hopefully getting to most of them, but if not, we will uh, we'll get through to them in the, next, uh, in the next sort of 24 hours as well.
So that wraps it up. Thanks again for attending. Um, and I will hopefully see you at the next um, webinar that we run.